Welcome to Physics Learning. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you an experiment on measurement of dielectric constant. Let's discuss the background of this experiment. What is dielectric constant? Dielectric constant is ratio of permittivity of a substance to the permittivity of free space. That is, if you denote the dielectric by K, permittivity of substance by epsilon and permittivity of free space by epsilon naught, then K is equals to epsilon by epsilon naught. Or you can define this dielectric constant in terms of capacitance. So, in terms of capacitance, dielectric constant is the ratio of capacitance with dielectric medium in between the capacitor plates to the capacitance with vacuum between capacitor plates. That is K is equals to C upon C naught, where C is the capacitance of capacitor with dielectric medium in it and C naught is the capacitance of the capacitor with vacuum in between. Okay. Uh, dielectric constant is very important uh, quantity because it measures the ability of a substance to store electrical energy in an electric field. Now move on. For this experiment, what kind of apparatus we need? We need these four things. Dielectric constant setup, I will discuss about it. We need test capacitor. We need dielectric medium and we need variable capacitor. Okay. So what is the theory of this experiment? As I discussed the definition of dielectric constant that is K is equals to C upon C naught. How we can measure the capacitance of a capacitor with dielectric medium in it and how we can measure the capacitance of capacitor plate without medium in it. That is two important factor which we have to find out. Okay. And to do that, we will need the help of that dielectric uh, constant measurement setup which consists of this circuit. Okay. In this circuit, you can see here we have an ammeter and this ammeter will show you maximum current at resonance point. Okay. And in order to achieve the resonance point, we need to have a particular value of this capacitor. Okay. Now here you can see we have two capacitors in parallel configuration. So they will simply add up. In the parallel configuration, total capacitance is sum of the individual capacitance, right? Now, here what we will do, we will use this formula in order to measure K, where K is C1 minus C2 divided by C1 minus C3, okay? C1 minus C2 is nothing but C, C1 minus C3 is nothing but C0. Let me explain it to you. C1 is the capacitance of standard variable capacitor at maximum deflection. Why? As we know, if you don't put this test capacitor, then for a particular value of the variable capacitor, this will show you maximum deflection and that value which is C1 is the value of capacitance we need in order to have a maximum deflection. But as soon as you insert your test capacitor, the capacitance of circuit will increase and then you have to reduce the value of variable capacitor, right? Therefore, the amount of reduction is nothing but the value of capacitance of test capacitor. Therefore, C1 minus C2, where C2 is capacitance of standard variable capacitor at maximum deflection, including test capacitor with dielectric in it. Similarly, you just remove the dielectric medium from the test capacitor and you just calculate the capacitance of variable capacitor at maximum deflection including test capacitor without dielectric in it. Okay, so amount of reduction in the capacitance of variable capacitor is the value of capacitor. Now, we know the formula. So let's see the demonstration of this experiment. Let's begin this experiment. Initially, what we have to do, we have to adjust the sensitivity. This is the knob of sensitivity. Okay, so we have to adjust this knob such that the maximum deflection in the current should be in the range of 90 okay should be 90 to 100 okay so we have to adjust this knob accordingly okay so let's connect the variable capacitance in order to find out the c1 okay so let's connect it so first we need to find out c1 c1 is capacitance of variable capacitance at maximum deflection alone without test capacitor okay so let's start the experiment and now just adjust the variable capacitor to 100 
to a value of capacitance such that we will get the maximum deflection okay so we need to move on a little bit more and just look carefully and we are around the condition of maximum deflection and this is the case okay so now you can check here the value of capacitance at maximum deflection is 175 so what we got c1 c1 is 175 okay okay so for the next part of experiment to find out c2 what we need to do we need to connect the test capacitor with dielectric in it so for the dielectric i am using bakelite and i am using three sheets of bakelite which is approximately 5 mm in thickness just put the bakelite sheet in the parallel plate capacitor okay so just put the bakelite and We can just uh, tighten this screw so that this backlight should be in its position. And now this is ready. So just insert the test capacitor in the location of test capacitor. Now we are done. So again, we need to find out the condition for maximum deflection. So just turn the knob and check the condition for maximum deflection. And you will find out that maximum deflection is around 105. Okay, so this is the value of capacitance of variable capacitor at which maximum deflection we found out, and that is 105. So C2 is 105. And now, in order to find out C3, uh, we should have the test capacitor, but in this case, without dielectric medium. So just remove it okay and again repeat again try to find out the condition for maximum deflection so just turn this knob and this is the probably uh, just wait hmm. now we got the condition for maximum deflection okay and the value of uh, capacitance is approximately 145 okay so 145 is the value of capacitance so now experiment is done you can repeat this experiment uh, to uh, in order to find out the other set of uh, values just by changing the thickness of backlight so that you will have more than one data and you can later on you can take the average out of that okay or you can even the change the material you can take a polypropylene seat okay so now just calculate the value of k using the formula c1 minus c2 divided by c1 minus c3 and what you will found out uh, if you do this calculation it is 70 by 30 so approximately the value is 2.33 now experiment is over and what we got this table so this table you have to make the first thing is dielectric medium i have used bakelite sheet as i said and the thickness of bakelite sheet was 5 millimeter and in that configuration what i got c1 is 175 by including the test capacitor with dielectric medium in it what i got the value of capacitance of variable capacitor is 105 and with test capacitor without dielectric medium in it what i got the value of capacitance of variable capacitor is 145 so by using this formula what i got the dielectric constant of bakelite is around 2.33 you can repeat this experiment for different thickness of bakelite in order to get many data and then you can take a average out that will be more accurate result okay if you just want to calculate the dielectric constant of different medium so you can repeat again this experiment with different material like polypropylene seat and so on okay you can even calculate the dielectric constant of a liquid medium okay just by having a test capacitor for the liquid medium and you just connect it by simple uh, same connection okay so hope this experiment is clear to you see you with new experiment thank you